if you're here, you've been on Instagram and you've seen the tiny little fruit beads that are 3D and often seen on jewelry or keychains, depending on what you want to do. So to make these, you're gonna want size 10 beads. That's my preference. You can go bigger if you want. Size 11 is a little too small. And you're gonna want red and white or just red. It's up to you. You could even do yellow if you wanted. You're also gonna need fire line and it's gonna be 0 0.15 millimeters. And you should use about an arm's length. It's better to have more than less. Pick up three beads, pull them onto the string and go into the last bead going the opposite way. I've attached a diagram to show you what I've done here. You can also slow down the video and rewatch it to get a better understanding. In the description, you'll find pictures and written description of the steps I took to achieve this little berry. So feel free to print them and follow along. Next, you're gonna pick up one bead and go directly into the next bead. And you're gonna do this three times. Make sure that you step up going into the next bead above the last bead. Next, you're gonna pick up two beads and skip over the lower bead going into the next sticking up bead of the triangle. Just like I show you here, slightly out of camera, sorry about that. Now pick up two more. Skip that lower one there and go into the next one. And you're gonna do it one more time. So pick up two beads, skip that little lower one there, go into the next one, just like so. And then step up. So go into that next bead. There's a cluster of two there that you added and you're going into one of them. So now you're gonna start the next row and you're gonna pick up one bead and put it in between those two beads that you're in between currently. So pick up one, just like that and go directly into the next bead. Oops, I changed my mind about the color. Now that you've gone through that bead that's directly beside the bead you came up through, you're gonna to wanna to pick up one more bead, skip the lower bead, and go into the next one. Now you're gonna pick up one bead and go into the bead directly beside the bead you just came through. Then pick up another bead, skip the lower bead, and go into the next bead, coming up in between the bundle of two. You're going to want to repeat this a total of six times. Now pick up the final bead, skip the lower bead, go into the next bead, and then step up by going into the bead directly above it. This is where you step up, right here. Good job. Okay. 
you have six lower beads. You're going to want to pick up one bead and go directly into the next raised bead, skipping the lower bead. This is called a peyote stitch. Think of it as filling in the blank spots. And make sure you count as you go during this part. I find it much easier if I count so I know once I get to six, it's time for me to step up. This is number six. So you're going to go into the one bead and then go into the next bead as you step up. Now we are on step 10. The pattern is two, one, two, one, two, one. You're ending on a one. Pick up two beads and go directly into the next raised bead, skipping the lower bead. Pick up one, go into the next raised bead. Now do this two more times. Make sure you count so you know when it's time to step up. is the last one. So go into the next bead and the bead above it to step up. Right here. Perfect. Now you're coming up in between two beads that you just put on. into the next bead. Pick up one bead, skip the lower bead, and go directly into the next raised bead. Pick up one bead again, and go directly into the next bead that's raised, skipping the lower bead. Make sure to come up in between the bead that is directly beside this bead. You are now in one of the groups of twos. Pick up one bead and go directly into the next bead beside it. Now pick up another bead and go directly into the next raised bead, skipping a lower bead. Do this all the way around.
again. You're going to go into the next bead. It's going to be difficult apparently. Watch me fumble. Get in there. Got it. Okay. And then you're going to go directly into the bead above it. Stepping up. For step 14, you're going to use the peyote stitch. Ugh. Now, we're going to go and use the peyote stitch. So you're going to skip the lower bead, pick up one bead, and go directly into the next raised bead. And you're going to do this all the way around. you're at the end. So pick up the one bead, go into the next bead, and step up directly into the bead above it. At this point, I stopped drawing the step up picture because you should be getting the hang of it. Next, 16. Looks complicated, but it's not. First, pick up two beads and go directly into the next raised bead, skipping the lower bead. Then, pick up one bead and go into the next raised bead. Now pick up another bead and go into the next raised bead, again skipping the lower bead. Now pick up two beads and go into the next raised bead, skipping the lower bead. So the pattern is two, one, one, two. And again, you should be ending on a one. Do this all the way around. pick up one bead, go into the next raised bead, and then go into the bead directly above that, stepping up into the next row. Now that you've completed step 17, you're going to move on to step 18, which is similar to 6 and 11. So pick up one bead and place it in between the doubles. So here you're going directly 
into the next bead. Now you're going to want to pick up one more bead and go into the next raised bead, skipping over the lower bead. Continue this pattern all the way around. Pick up one bead, go into the next raised bead. It's going to be kind of tight. And then once you're done going through that bead, step up into the next bead directly above it. Now you'll be doing peyote stitch again. this you'll pick up one bead, skip that lower bead, and go directly into the next raised bead. And do this all the way around. If you're following along on my written instructions, we are now in step 20. Now pick up one bead, go into the last raised bead, and then step up by going into the bead directly above it. You have now completed up to step 21. For step 22, you're going to want to pick up one bead. And go directly into the next two raised beads. 
skipping the lower beads. Continue this all the way around the strawberry. Pick up one bead, go into the two raised beads like you have been all the way around, and then go into the raised bead directly above the last bead you went into to step up. Now that you're done step 23, you're moving on to step 24, which is a peyote stitch. So you're going to take one bead and go into the next raised bead and it should look like this. Do that all the way around. the last raised bead and step up into the bead that's directly above it. You have now completed step 25. 26. Pick up one bead and go into the next two raised beads. You're going to do this three times. And on the third, you'll step up. Once you've stepped up, you're going to take your string and with no beads on it, go back through the three beads and make sure you pull it tight. to move on to the leaves. Pick up seven beads on your needle. Now that you have seven of those babies on your needle, you're going to want to go directly into the next bead. Kind of hard to see here, but it's one of those three that you just looped through already. 
and just pull it through just like that. Now pick up seven more and go into the next bead and then pick up seven more and go into the next bead. Now we're at a point in the video where I can apologize profusely for having such disgusting hands. I work a labor job, it can't be helped, but they're horrible to look at, and I'm very sorry. Now that you have all three leaves on, you're gonna wanna take the needle and go up through the leaf, just like so, only through the first three beads, then skip the middle bead and go down through the next three beads. And then repeat that process as I'm doing so here. It's kind of hard to explain. Pause the video, rewind, put it in slow-mo, do whatever you got to do to understand. Once you're at the end, pull it very tight and start working your needle down through the beads so that you can get all the way to the bottom of the berry and tie a knot. Just also remember that your strawberry, first try, will not look like this. It will look lopsided and you'll probably get halfway through and then realize you messed up badly and have to cut it apart. And that's okay. Keep trying. It took me probably three or four hours to get it and I've just recently started to get quick at it. So don't give up. To have a necklace just like this, make a little loop that can fit a berry through it, then measure 7.5 inches and bead all along that with clear or white beads that are about 11 or 10 in size. Then add your strawberry, bead another 7.5 inches and add another strawberry at the end. Then tie your creation together and you've got a necklace.